Hey guys, welcome to Rust Sound. This is Ben at Rust Sound Tech Support. We're going to look at stereo and also bridge mono mode on the D850. And this is also relevant for any of our other amplifiers that feature a bridge mono mode as well. In the case of my D850 here, we currently have zone 1 wired up with a local source coming from an MBX Pre. And this is just set up in our stereo operation mode. I've got a pair of our 5B65 Mark IIs here. And if I crank up the volume, it can sound pretty good. We don't want to go too loud. It's not going to capture well on video. Plus, you might not like the choice of music I have selected here. But ultimately, it does sound pretty good. We're getting 50 watts on the left speaker and 50 watts on the right. I could even double up and have two pairs of these speakers. And I would get 80 watts to the, the two left speakers and 80 watts to the two right speakers. So 40 watts a speaker. Ultimately, 40 to 50 watts, it's all going to sound great, no matter what. You just want a good pair of speakers running it, like our Mark IIs here. But what if we want more power? Who doesn't want more power? How about 160 watts in the left channel and 160 watts in the right? Well, we can do that with a D850. Many of our other amplifiers also feature bridge mono mode. Just make sure that you only use this with a single 8-ohm speaker. So let's go ahead and get this one wired up for bridge mono mode and see how it sounds. For our bridge mono mode configuration, we're going to actually be using both zone 1 and zone 2. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to wire into the D850 here, which will also be relevant to a D1650. This information might not be exactly true if you're considering bridge mono mode for a P75, a P125, and a 2100 So be sure to review the manual for information on how to use bridge mono in those products, or reach out to Russ Sound and ask us for some help. We'll definitely walk you through that process. But first things first, I need to turn my amplifier off. And I'm going to go ahead and remove my speaker connection here because we're going to have to run a couple differences as far as our wiring go. So we're going to cut the camera real quick here and I'm going to make those changes and show you what we've done. Alright guys, so I made a modification to how my speakers are connected. I have my speaker that I was using as the right channel connected to one terminal and the one I was using as my left channel connected to the other. It's a very specific configuration here as outlined on the back of the product and the user manual. We need to connect our positive to the left positive on our block and the negative of each speaker to the right negative on each block. So as you can see, I've done that and I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. I do also need to set each of these to bridge mono mode. I had zone two already set for that. Uh, no, I didn't actually. Okay, boom and boom. Now both are set to bridge mono mode. And now we need to connect our source of music. We're only going to be using the line input for this. We can't use the bus input. And in this case, both connections are going to go to the left input. My red is my right channel, and I prefer to run that on this speaker that I have wired here. My white is my left channel. That's going to go into zone 2, and it will drive my speaker on the left here. So our setup is now done. We can go ahead and power the amplifier back on. And once our amplifier has turned on, we will play some music. All right, guys, we are ready to rock and roll. You might want to also ensure that your gain is adjusted properly. For this, we're going to only be using the left gain pots since our connection is in the left input of each RCA. You might need to set those accordingly, but let's go ahead and hit the play button here. It's going to sound good. There we go. At the same volume level, my keypad is indicating it's already sounding a lot better than it did when we were using stereo 8 ohm and getting 50 watts per channel. We're getting 160 watts on each speaker now. And if I crank this up, it's going to sound nuts. The audio might not translate well to the video capture we're doing, but let me tell you, sitting here, it sounds pretty good. And we'll probably be rocking out to this the rest of the day here while I'm doing the rest of my work. That's bridge mono mode in a nutshell. If you have any questions about using bridge mono on this amp or others, be sure to reach out to us. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button below. Subscribe to us if you want to see more content like this. And be sure to post a comment. We'd like to hear about your experience with Rust Sound or suggestions on videos you'd like to see. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.